literally just rolled out of bed. We are, I'm gonna take my biz line out, one second. We are back in London. We're here for one week before we head home, which I am, I'm excited to go home. Like half of me is so excited to go home and see my dogs and see friends and see family and just like get back into some sort of a routine because I've def I've never not been in routine for so long in my entire life. But we got back to London yesterday and I love it here so much that I, I don't want to leave. So anyway, I'm going to do some Pilates this morning. If you're like Brisbane Byron based, you might know Hustle. It's a Pilates studio on the Gold Coast that you might have even remember me going to. I go whenever I'm on the Gold Coast. I love Hustle so much. They also have a Hustle online. So I'm going to do Pilates. They have a bunch of stuff on here. They have a bunch of healthy recipes, but they have workouts, which I'm going to do this morning. They also have circuit in here, but I don't think I'm mentally or physically prepared for that this morning. I think I'm just gonna do this first one. It's a lower body sculpt. I'm really just putting to the test, having absolutely no equipment. Okay. I'm gonna put it there. I just want you to bring those feet about wet wide as your mat for me. Goodness, English today would be great. Bend your knees, reach those hands up to breathe in. Exhale, come all the way down for me. Beautiful, from here, just relax into the hands. Bend those knees, reach those hands up to breathe in. Exhale, come all the way down for me. Beautiful, from here, just relax into the hands. Shoulders, take a big breath. Take those knees out as you come down. Hold it down. so much better for that literally at the beginning of the workout i was like oh my gosh i just feel stiff like my whole body feels so stiff and like hasn't been worked out in in weeks which would be the case but i do feel good after it <laughs> i feel like it was challenging like it definitely got all my muscles burning but the stretch at the end kind of like it was exactly what I needed. Also, Hustle has also given me a discount code to share with you all if you wanted to check out their app. If you're wanting kind of just like an online platform that you can carry around with you anywhere. So if you do want to check it out, you can use Sophie M, which I can link in the description box. I'll pop all the details in there. If you use it, you can get $10 off your first month. I think you can also sign up for a free trial. So you can try it for a week. Make sure you love it. Anyway, I'm going to shower and then we're off for a day of exploring and shopping. And I'm so excited. But I purposely haven't shopped this whole trip so far because I haven't wanted to add any weight to my suitcase but now we just have the one flight home and I'm allowed 32 kilos of luggage and I think right now it's like 25 so <laughs> Good morning! Oh, Just good touched morning. down in London town. Today we are off to the Warner Brothers Harry Potter studio. I think this is what it's called. It's called Harry Potter World. Harry Potter World. We're on a Harry Potter World. We are. And I'm very, very excited. I mean, we're both... Would you say you're a huge Harry Potter fan? I um, feel like you're a mild Harry Potter fan. No, I wouldn't say mild, I'd say moderate. Moderate. Like, okay, well, maybe you can't be moderate if you haven't even read the books. Yeah, I don't know. True. Soph's a frother. I do love Harry Potter. And I, like, I grew up with Harry Potter, yeah, I feel. Yeah, Soph introduced me to Harry Potter, and it's good. Like, I do. I want to give myself a moderate fan level. You do know a lot. I remember I used to quiz you heaps. I know a lot, and I, like, I, re I didn't just watch it. Well, I initially just watched it because you were making me, but then like I'm happy to re-watch it like I like them. When we first started dating, I made Sam watch Harry Potter and Sam made me watch Star Wars. We both didn't last through Star Wars. We got to episode six and, <laughs> and then she just never, and we're like, oh, it's okay, we'll watch it again. Never did. Yeah. And, and never made any effort. I made effort with Harry Potter. Look how cute our street is as well that we're staying on. I love it. I'm very excited. I actually, I've been to the Warner Brothers studio here back in 2016 when I came on a holiday with my family here. But I feel like I've forgotten everything. Like that was, how long 2016 ago? I don't know. Seven years. Whoa, it's been seven years. It's a little bit overcast today, but still so warm. Like very, very warm. I, I looked out the window and I was like, is it a jeans day? And then we opened the window and I was like, no, it's very, it still feels very warm. So this is my outfit. All new stuff I've bought on the holiday. These two oh. things. I bought yesterday and these are the Zara shorts I bought in Nice. The little tube top is from Free People and this is from Brandy Mel. We did a bit of shopping yesterday. I was about to say we had a bit of a shopping day. I was the only one who bought anything. <laughs> I decided I'm bad at shopping. Maybe it's a good thing 
Probably. But I'm, I'm bad. Think I'm a bit too good. I literally have shit in my hand, like going to the register, and I was like, nah. <laughs> and I'll put it down and walk out. I also got these sunglasses, which you might be like, they look exactly like your other ones. These are just the actual real deal, which I thought I would. Well, thought I'd commit to because I've been wearing the others for so long and they're by far my favorite sunglasses. The quality of these feels so much better. I've basically just been saying to Sam the last few days we've been here how much I want to move here. You have. I haven't stopped. It's not happening. I even went for a walk by myself yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening, and just walking around by myself. I did a grocery shop, came back, I was like, this, this could be my life. How many stops is it until? I don't know, we gotta get on two. Oh, okay. We gotta go to... Bakers, uh, Bakers. Yeah. Or well, you're getting picked up from a certain spot by like the Harry Potter bus. So. The one from the movie. It's not the one from the movie. What? I thought it was going to drive really fast and do that cool stuff. Like, uh, that would stuff. be really cool. Watching the first movie. Really just getting myself in the mood. No. She's talking very loudly. Oh. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I want a bank here. We're in Green Cuts. First taste test of the butterbeer. Oh, he's got the froth. <laughs> Good. What's it, it taste like? like? Mixed with like cream soda, but they added like a caramel. Yeah. <laughs> Checked in to our last accommodation of the trip. It's so London. It is. I purposely booked this hotel. It's called Artist Residence. Georgia and I stayed in a artist residence in Brighton last year and I loved it so much. It's just like the pinnacle of a British hotel. I actually can't believe we go home in two nights. Impressive. Have you got the key? No, I haven't yet. I've got it. When do I not have the key? Yeah, yeah. One day I won't have the key and you'll just take for granted. I always ask if you have the key. Not always. You didn't ask this morning when we left the Airbnb. Because I knew you had the key. Yeah, exactly. I looked for it. You got the key out. <laughs> I love it here. Look how cute that is. We're going to go glossy at Reformation and then dinner. The skies are blue. <laughs> Look at the street that we're on. Oh, sunny. I always forget because it's quarter to six. Yeah, you're like, like. Oh, evening. No, it's still broad <laughs> right here. <laughs> it's basically like it's, 4 p.m. And that's when you need sunnies in Australia. Yeah. It's like in the afternoon. The hotel as well is about like a eight minute walk to Victoria. Uh, I reckon seven minutes. Seven minutes? Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, I think well. you were wrong. Okay, cool. To Victoria. So. Where are we going again? It's very. Co 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 Covent Garden. Oh, yep, sun is yeah, out. It's as hell. <laughs> Oh, Did I have mine? I picked mine up and I was like, oh, I should bring... Yours were on, like, the chair. Ah, oh, damn. I okay. So it's like, you know, I did probably get a little bit too overexcited, but like, when in London. Okay, so I got another beauty bag because I got one the last time I was here. I literally use it every single day. Like, it's my travel makeup bag, but it's also just like where I store all my makeup. And my other one is 
filthy with just like so much makeup on it. So I thought I'd just get a little fresh, fresh one. Oh, I'm so excited about this purchase. I got the, I think it's actually like limited edition, this one. The embroidered hoodie. They have the pink one that I think they sell all the time. And they have this cream one. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's very oversized. That's exactly what I wanted. I said to the girls, like, do they come oversized? And she was like, they do. And she was like, I wear a small. And I was just like, I was like, I really want it to be oversized. And she was like, you could probably go medium or large. And I was like, I'll go large. It's got this cute little like glossier thing. And then the embroidered glossier. I'm a sucker for a hoodie. I'm making a mess. Okay. And then for makeup, I bought the new, oh, what is this angle? Birthdaybalm.com lip balm. This is the new formula and the new applicator. So I'm very excited to try. And then I also got a couple of mango ones for some friends. I think this is pretty new. I mean, like it could not be new at all, but it's new to me since the last time I went. I have the Glossier perfume in like the full size, but they come out with like roll on travel size. I don't have a travel perfume. I didn't even bring any perfume on this trip because I was like, I don't just want the extra weight. But that's just so perfect for travel. I got a new lash stick, the mascara. I bought one last year and I'm completely out and I love this one. And I also got the perfecting skin tint. I got one of these years ago and my skin was really bad at the time. So I didn't really like it because it just didn't like cover my pimples because my skin has cleared up quite a bit. I feel like I'll like it more because it's more of yet. I mean, it's in the name, skin tint, for a very natural kind of look. This was a bit of an impulse buy, I won't lie. But I tried it and I was like, why is this the best thing I've ever put on my body? It's the After Balm Moisture Barrier Recovery Cream. I put some on my hand and it just felt so hydrating. Get quite dry skin, not on my face, but like kind of everywhere else my skin gets quite dry. Um, why can't I open this? The packaging is beautiful. So yeah, that was a bit of an impulse by that one. But do I regret it? No, I don't. So that's everything I got from Glossier. We also just went into Whole Foods. We got three packs of these Tonys. Chocolate for some family to take home because we have been smashing this chocolate while we've been here. It's so good. I also got myself a block of the milk milk caramel biscuit because i haven't tried that flavor yet i've got a couple of like these they kind of look like hydrolite little sachets kind of thing but it's called vidrate enhanced hydration for the plane ride back because i feel like you just get so dehydrated on planes i got some lollies for the plane because i just i love to snack on a plane and then i got some booja booja truffles so that was whole food but also i didn't vlog it at all which is so stupid of me, I'm kicking myself not vlogging it. But this morning I met up with Soap again and we went to a peace cycle, I think it was called. Pilates class killed me. I think a mixture of me not working out very much over the past few weeks, especially like resistance, having some sort of resistance, like it burnt. And we went out to brunch at Farm Girl and then we went to Lulu and I got a couple things, just like a couple of very, very simple basics. I got this sports bra, which I tried on and loved. That was the if anyone cares, a line bra, smooth cover yoga bra. And this is the most flattering bra ever. Like I think the, the kind of like square neck, it's just like, it just sits very nicely. And then last but not least, I got one of the Align tanks. I have one in white and I love it. And so it definitely convinced me to get this color because she has it because she says it, she wears it all the time. So that's what I bought today. What else have I bought while I've been here though? Oh, I've never actually heard of this brand before, but we were just walking past it in London. It's called Reserved. I saw a mannequin and I was like, why is that so beautiful? So I went in, tried it on, and I loved it. It's this little strapless dress. And this sliding really isn't doing it justice, but look how beautiful the pattern is. I love it. Plus, you don't have to wear a bra with it. And I just really loved it. What else did I get? Oh, I, I bought a few books. We went into this bookstore, which actually a follower messaged me saying, you have to go to this bookstore. It's like the most beautiful in London. It was Daunt Books in... How do you pronounce that? Uh, Marylebone? Marylebone? High I Street, London? I think it's Marylebone. Bought the tote bag because I just thought that was really special. And like, I always use tote bags. Um, and then I also got one for H as well because I thought she would love it. As for actual books that I bought there, I'm so excited about this. I saw this and I was like, I have already read this book, but we don't have the hardcover in Australia and because I loved it so much and it was probably one of my favorite books I've ever read. I thought it would just be really special to have a hard copy. And it's just such a beautiful book too and I just, I actually just, I couldn't walk out without it. It's like the equivalent of when I used to like buy my favorite movies on Blu-ray. Yeah, it is. 
You Except just want it. You don't do that now. No. I still have like a few movies on Blu-ray, which I will never watch on Blu-ray again. Yeah. I reckon I'll just sell them in like vintage when I'm 80. I also got Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, which I put on my Instagram story. I had like a few books that I was thinking of. By far, the most commonly recommended one was Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. Plus, Georgia, Rach Lang and I are starting a little book club. I don't know when my month will be to choose a book. I thought this could be my book because I know none of them have read it either. And then today, actually, we went into this other bookstore, which I, I did think I filmed the outside of. Where is it? Oh, yeah, in your... Can I show my stuff? Yeah, absolutely. I'm actually, like, dreading packing. GM Shore. Store in London, the only one in the world. And yeah. it was a vibe. It was, it was, it was nice. really cool in there. It was also surreal because the last time Georgia and I were here, we were supposed to go to the opening, but it was delayed or postponed so we didn't get to, so it was really exciting to actually go into the store. It's kind of cool that there's only one. Yeah, it feels it like, you know, it's like going to Nike. And there's a job in the juice in there. This you can only get here. Yeah. Gymshark logo with the Tower Bridge, is it? To the yeah. Tower Bridge? Sure, or the London Bridge? I don't know, one of the bridges. I also got Four Queen today. I've had it on my, like, list to read on my notes for a while. I just saw this and it's just so beautiful. Should I have gotten it? Absolutely not, because it's a heavy hardcover book. But <laughs> it's just so beautiful, like gold foiling almost. And, like, look how beautiful the book is. Um, I knew I wanted to read it anyway, so I just I just couldn't walk out without it. Now I have three heavy books. I mean, I have quite a bit of weight left in my bag, but it's just like space. I bought this hoodie. Have I showed you? I don't know if I've showed you. I bought this hoodie from, from Brandy. Love her. I love this color. I think it like suits my skin skin tone. I also bought this little top from Brandy. I tried it on and I just thought it was a really cute little basic. It's just wear with like jeans. And then I also got this over shirt, button up shirt. You can't really see in this lighting at all, but like baby blue and white straps, which I really love. I also got this bag. I just thought it was like a good size bag if like you're going out for the day. Just kind of like a toty kind of style, but it's like knitted. And I really liked it. I think that's all. I think that's all the shopping I've done in London this week. So quite a bit. This is what I'm looking at, actually. I'll show you. Somehow all of this has to fit in here with everything else that I've obviously brought with me. Plus the books. Really done myself dirty there. I'm going to have a shower. Wash my hair because I've been slicking my hair back for the last few days. And it's like, can you hear that? It's so crusty. We're just about to check out and I'm sad. <laughs> I wanted to show you the hotel room though because this hotel is like hands down my favorite hotel. This bed was the comfiest bed of the trip, like potentially comfier than our own bed at home. Also, I'm convinced that the hotel is Magnolia Parks coded. You can't tell me otherwise. Look at that. They have this cute little stereo as well playing the radio and I love it. Window with a very cute view. I love all of the brick little fridge. So cute. We've had two smeg fridges. Yeah, they're great. They I are great. One. I want mm -hmm. a little one of that for my little room. Yeah, that'd be cool. Managed to get everything packed up just. My bag is bursting at the seams. <laughs> oh, gosh. Cute little chair. I love the floor. It's just so cute. And then the bathroom. I love it. Okay, I just came to grab my room. Yeah. And a cute little seating area. We're eating at the hotel. It's a restaurant and a hotel. Sam's got a full English breakfast. First one of the trip. Yeah, I know. Very fitting. Those scrambled eggs look so look good. Incredible. And then I just got smashed over with eggs. Basic of me. Still my post. 
Sam's so doing his Paris post. His France post, sorry. He had to get wagons for the last time. I got the chicken ramen. Oh gosh, I am excited. Oh, I don't know about a caption. Should we eat and you can do it later? Yeah. Oh, that looks good. That's so good. Oh, that's hot. Temperature. That's so good. 